A family is in mourning tonight after a fatal house fire in Pritchard. Authorities say one man died when the flames ripped through his home overnight. It's our big story right now at 6. Local 15's Jasmine Williams joins us live from the scene. Jasmine, the victim was really close to his family. Yeah, that's right, Greg Kim. So much so, family members said they spoke with Sean Whitaker just hours before last night's fire. Just pray for our family. Pictures of Sean Whitaker only tell half of the story. The 49 year old loved to fish, but more than anything, he loved his family. Now there's an empty seat at his sister Lily McCoy's home. Our heart is just heavy right now. We just don't. I don't know what to say I do. I don't know which way to turn or where to start. Investigators say Whitaker was inside of his home around midnight Monday when it went up in flames and all that's left debris and devastation. Neighbors tried to get him out after hearing a popping noise and seeing smoke billowing from the home. Sadly, he did not survive. In that fire, his family lost a brother, an uncle, and a son. McCoy, a single mother, said her brother helped raise her children, and they will forever cherish his final words. Last night, we was, we was together, and before he left, I said to him, I said, I love you. He said, I love you too, and he left and went home. And Pritchard police are still investigating what caused this blaze. Reporting live in Pritchard, Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News. Jasmine.